In an extraordinary move, the U.S. is closing embassies around the world after what one senior U.S. official told CNN was more than the usual chatter about a potential terrorist threat. The department has been apprised of information that, out of an abundance of caution and care for our employees and others who may be visiting our installations, uh, that indicates we should institute these precautionary steps. The move comes as the holy days that mark the end of Ramadan approach and nearly a year after the deadly attack on the U.S. mission in Benghazi, Libya. Now the embassy in the capital, Tripoli, will be closed. Other embassies in the Middle East also posted they will be shut. From Egypt, where nearly a year ago violent protests threatened the embassy in Cairo, to Tel Aviv, Baghdad, Riyadh, and Doha, Qatar. All embassies that, quote, would have been normally open on Sunday are being shut down, and the closings may expand to include additional days. Another official told CNN the Obama administration is monitoring threats against the American embassy in Yemen. Military reforms. The move came on the same day President Obama met with the president of Yemen, who has cracked down on Al Qaeda. What we've seen is uh, Al Qaeda uh, in the uh, Arabian Peninsula or AQAP uh, moved back out of territories that it was controlling. Barbara Starr, CNN, the Pentagon.